Welcome to Roots Online Abacus Classes. In this lesson, we will learn how to calculate numbers mentally without the use of abacus. So far, we have learned how to use our fingers to add and subtract numbers on abacus. Now, it's time to learn how to do additions and subtractions in mind just by visualizing the abacus. To do calculations mentally, instead of using the abacus instrument, we visualize it in our mind. Let us see a video and see how the child moves fingers for calculation. You need to observe only fingers of the child. Two plus two plus five minus four minus five plus four. Answer four. That's correct. Nine minus five minus four plus two plus five plus two. Answer nine. That's correct. In video, the child was actually visualizing the abacus in mind. Let's learn it. It is easy. I'll give you a few simple sums of addition and subtraction. And you need to answer them mentally by using finger movements, but not the instrument. Before that, have a look at the column in red box. It has one beat above the bar and four beats below the bar. Upper beat has value of five and lower beads have value of 1 each. You need to keep the picture of this column in your mind. Just focus on it for 10 seconds to keep the picture of it in your mind. After that you will be required to visualize it in your mind. Okay. Now, I request you to close both of your eyes and listen to what I say with concentration. You will be informed when to open your eyes. Have you closed your eyes? Good. Make sure you do not have the abacus instrument in your hands. And don't use normal method of calculation. You need to use finger movement just like the child you saw in video earlier. Okay? Now visualize the column in red box you have just seen which had one beat above the bar and four beats below the bar. Now, I am going to start asking few sums. Are you ready? Let's start. Add one. For this, you should have moved your thumb upwards towards the bar. Did you do the same way? Good. Now, the next number, plus 1 again. Have you done that? Okay. How many beads do you see touching the bar in your visualization? Is it 2? Great. Please note that when I say a number without indicating plus or minus sign, it always means plus sign. Let's try next some. 1 minus 1 plus 1 How many beads do you see touching the bar? Is it 1? Great. That is correct. Here comes the next sum. 2 plus 2 which number do you see on abacus this time? Is it 4? Great. That's right. Next sum. 1 plus 1 minus 1 Which number do you see on abacus this time? Is it 1? Great. That's right. Next sum. 1 plus 1 plus 1 
minus 1. Which number do you see on Abacus this time? Is it 2? Great. That's right. Next sum. 4. Minus 1. Answer. Answer is 3. Next sum. 4. Minus 2. Minus 2. Answer. Answer is 0. Next sum. 2. Plus 2. Minus 2. Minus 2. Answer. Answer is 0. Next sum. 4. Minus 2. Minus 2. Plus 4. Answer. Answer is 4. Next sum. 4. Plus 5. Answer. Answer is 9. Next sum. 4. Plus 5. Minus 4. Answer. Answer is 5. Next sum. 9. Minus 4. Minus 5. Plus 2. Plus 2. Answer. Answer is 4. Next sum. 5. Plus 4. Minus 2. Minus 2. Minus 5. Answer. Answer is 0. Next sum. 9. Minus 4. Plus 2. Plus 2. Answer. Answer is 9. Next sum. 5. Plus 4. Minus 9. Plus 2. Plus 2. Minus 4. Plus 5. Answer. Answer is 5. Great. You did wonderful job. Now, you can open your eyes. If you were not able to answer the sums, try it again. It will be easy after a few attempts. Tips for the trainer. You should ask the child to listen to these sums and answer them mentally in the same way as you did. Your role would be to observe finger movements. Only after this practice, the child should practice in worksheets. All the exercise numbers are followed by a bracket in which abacus or mental is written. If the word abacus is written there, it means exercise is to be completed with the help of the abacus. And if the word mental is written in the bracket, then the exercise is to be completed mentally without the abacus. Please note that the children are given simple sums in the beginning. There may be a chance that they do simple sums such as 2 plus 2 mentally without using the method taught with abacus. So, you need to make sure that the child is giving answer not with normal method. To check whether the child is doing sums mentally with abacus method or not, Ask the child to show finger movements for simple sums like 1 minus 1, 2 minus 2, 3 minus 3, 4 minus 4, 5 minus 5, 6 minus 6, 7 minus 7, 8 minus 8 and 9 minus 9. 
This is very easy and effective method for this purpose. Correct movements for these will confirm that the answers given by the child are given not by normal method. This is the end of the tutorial. See you in the next video.